how long you're supposed to wait. I feel like that's dry already. See? You get to watch me fail epically. Hello everybody! Welcome back to my channel and this was a really bad idea to do this intro with this on my face. <laughs> Um, this video, as you can tell by the title and what craziness I am wearing currently, um, we are going to be doing an Easter makeup look. I thought this mask was very fitting, being it's an Easter egg. Um, I'm going to let this finish sitting on my face, take it off, and then we'll jump right into today's video. All right, it's been about 20 minutes of wearing this, so now take it off and put it aside and rub in and then we're gonna get started on a super fun Easter look that's wearable I thought about doing like a crazy fun um, look as far as like doing like an egg on my eye or something um, but I need to be able to go do things after I film this, so um, I'm going to do a wearable look. And I feel like that's what we would want to see, other than for entertainment, that's what I would go to YouTube for, is to see what kind of cute Easter wearable looks I could go wear to a family um, get-together for Easter. So, let me go dab my face off. And we'll jump into it. All right, all set to go after that mask, and um, I am in a new setting. It's the same room that I've been filming in the last couple of times, but I'm turned so that I have natural lighting on my face. I figured that that lighting might work a little bit better, look a little nicer, so here we are. <laughs> so we're obviously going to start um, with foundation, which currently I have been using the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear um, Foundation. I have occasionally been mixing it in with my Smashbox. Um, stick foundation studio skin stick foundation um, it has contour on one side and then the foundation on the other the foundation on the other side is still a little ugh, it's wrecked it's a little bit dark for me so I usually just um, do a little bit of that mixed with this on my face so, so I don't want to bore you with the rest of it because we could be here forever so I will be right back <laughs> Okay, so I have my base on, my foundation, everything, including my brows, and I left my lip just in case I decide to do one, but if you've watched any of my past makeup videos, which isn't that many, but if you've watched any of the past ones, I usually mention that I don't usually wear anything on my lips. Um, I have a ton of lipstick, and I went through a phase of wearing it almost every day, and I think that the reason I just don't is because... I don't know, it gets everywhere. Like, you cannot even, like, I don't know, you can't lick your lips, you can't do anything. So, I usually don't wear anything on my lips. Um, okay, so, for this fun makeup, um, eye makeup Easter look, um, I am going to start by putting a base down on my eyelids so that um, the eyeshadow sticks because I want it to be very vibrant. So, I'm going to take... Um, this Revlon Photo Ready um, concealer, e concealer, and I'm gonna go ahead and just put a little dab on each eye, and then I'm gonna take my finger and just kind of pat that in all over the lid. Sorry if I look down a little bit; my mirror is behind you. <laughs> So the next um, thing that I want to start with is just a transition color. So I have a transition color that I like love and if you look at my palette it is well loved. This one right here if you can catch it in just the right light. Anyways it's getting a divot in it like I'm going to hit pan eventually. Anyways let's see here we're going to go ahead and grab this big this kind of fluffy brush right here, dip right into that color, and just kind of go in to the crease. Okay. 
Okay, so now that we've got kind of that base in on the crease, um, I'm going to decide what color to go with. Um, this is a BH Cosmetics palette. It's the Modern Mattes palette from them. And I want to play with these bright ones and pinks. Um, it's a wearable, but definitely Easter look is what I'm going for here. So, um, I'm trying to think where to even start. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and start with this really vibrant blue right here. I don't think I pointed to that very well, and I'm not even doing it, this one right here. <laughs> not even doing it well to begin with. So, I'm just going to kind of dip into that and look at that payoff, okay? <laughs> Okay, I'm going to take this one on the inner corner. No, inner? Yeah. I'm going to take this one on the inner corner and just kind of build it up and pull it out just a little bit. Look at the payoff, you guys. Like, So I'm just going to go ahead and copy that to the other side, and I'll be right back. All right, so I have that color on both sides. Now I'm going to take this really bright pink color. Bright. Which one is it? right here, this one right here, and I'm going to put it on the outside corner. We're going a little crazy, but hey, that's what we're here for, right? A little bit crazy, but somewhat wearable if you're doing a fun family get-together. And I'm just going to kind of put it on this outside corner. Again, look at that freaking payoff. Like, I, I, I freaking love this palette. Like, um, yeah. I think I literally got like two, they were buy one, get one, half off or something crazy for this, pal um, this palette from BH Cosmetics. And then I have their Foil Eyes 2 palette as well, I believe is which one it is. Um, I don't know. They're just super, super fun. I feel a little bit like this is going to be wearable, but not. <laughs> I don't know. We will see. We're just having fun here, okay? So I'm gonna speed this up for you and do this on this side. Okay, so now I've got the blue in here and the pink there, and it's looking really fun. Um, I think I am going to dip into a shimmer and do um, a halo eye look right here in the middle. So usually with that, um, people do the concealer in the middle. I have a really hard time doing that. I don't know if it's just like my technique or what, but I just don't, I just don't have that good a look with it. I am going to dip into this palette, which is my Morphe palette. Thank you, Jessie. Um, and I'm going to take this burnt orange kind of color. It doesn't come across very well on the screen, but it's my, um, it's a burnt orange and we're just gonna, we're just gonna play and see how this turns out. It's kind of going a little bit fall-y, I feel like. It's just, mm, ooh, look at that. Um, but we're just gonna see. Oh, I was saying before, um, usually people do the concealer situation to do the halo. Um, I usually don't. What I'm going to do is put this burnt orange color down and then I'm going to put a shimmer over the top of it. Okay, so we're really colorful right now. I'm going to do this to the other side, speed it up for you. Okay, how's it looking? Is it looking kind of crazy? I feel like it's looking a little bit crazy like if you were to wear this to a family outing they'd be like what the heck are you wearing um but i'm going to kind of tie the blue in underneath here so i'm just going to take back the blue that we were using and uh if i can get the palette open geez okay and i'm going to take this little kind of blunt brush right here and pull it down underneath So I'm taking it 
almost all the way over but I'm gonna drag actually a little bit of the pink and orange down here as well so you but like makeup is just kind of a thing for me to play with um so it I don't take it too seriously and the people that take it way too seriously need to chill out <laughs> okay so now I'm gonna take a shimmer to put right here in the halo kind of section um, on my lid um, you may also notice that it looks like kind of a stark line I'm gonna try and just kind of blend that out a little bit between the two Oh, got some blending going on. We're going to take the shimmer. The shimmer that I'm going to go in with is <clears throat> on the same Morphe palette that I took this orange. I'm going to take um, this color over here and dab in with my finger. And look at how pretty that is. And I'm going to go ahead and just dab right in the halo. Look how pretty that is. Mm, it's gorgeous. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do that on the other eye. I'll be 100% honest, I was a little bit scared. I've never done this look before, so um, I put that orange down and I was like, crap, I messed up. <laughs> Um, and to be, to be TBH, to be honest, um, I have filmed so many makeup looks, um, to put on here and end up just deleting them because I feel like it didn't turn out very good or it wasn't in very good lighting to show it off. So yeah. All right. So here's the, um, finished eye. I take a little bit of a lighter color from the, um, Morphe palette, this one right up here, and I'm going to put it up on my brow bone. Okay. The last thing I'm going to do is, um, eyeliner and mascara, and I'm going to attempt to put on false lashes. <laughs> um, I... Yeah, I have not yet to succeed with putting on false lashes, so we're going to attempt that today. <laughs> All right, let me go do my eyeliner and mascara, and I will be right back. I'm done. I did the lashes. No, I'm kidding. I totally have just done mascara, and to be honest, I don't wear lashes because I feel like my lashes are plenty long enough and look good enough without them, but I wanted to attempt for this video to make this look complete um, as I have never been able to get the fake lashes on. So I have the set of Ardell lashes that I got from um, the giveaway that I won on Instagram from Lamy America. Um, thank you. <laughs> I am so happy because I again I've never been able to do the lashes successfully and I usually wreck the lashes before I'm able to even get well before I can even try a couple times to get it on so I'm just going to get these all cleaned up because there's obviously the stickum that comes on these to keep them in place in the little case and we're going to try try to put these on. You get to watch this hilariousness that's probably going to fail and mess up all my makeup. And while I was off camera um, prepping the lash, I realized that this is totally Easter slash slash Coachella makeup. <laughs> yeah. All right. So from the tips and tricks that I have gathered when watching people do their lashes is to put the I put the glue already on the band and then let it dry for a minute or two so that it becomes tacky so when you set it it sticks instead of 
what I've done in the past is um, try to put it on and it's not tacky yet and so it just literally like pops off or whatever and then the gloom is messed up and then my makeup's messed up and it's just a disaster so all right I don't know how long you're supposed to wait I feel like that's dry already see you get to watch me fail epically okay we're gonna do just a teeny bit more glue because I'm pretty sure that stuff already dried and this time, I'm not going to talk so much. And we're going to go ahead and attempt to put... Oh my gosh, I'm not going to be a very good view for you guys. Ow! Oh, I touched my eye. Oh my gosh, did I do it? Did I do it? Um, did I do it? <laughs> did I seriously just do that on like the first try? Okay, this little corner's not wanting to stick down, so I'm thinking I'm gonna have to put a tiny bit of glue on there and get it to stick. But um, here is one eye with lashes and one eye without lashes. I do feel like it definitely makes a difference. Um, now I'm going to get myself addicted to wearing lashes and it's not going to be a good thing. <laughs> it's going to add another time in the morning to get ready. It's going to make me take longer. Yeah. So let me go ahead and glue on the other lash and then we will come right back and be all done. All right, guys. Sorry. I had to straighten out the camera here. Um, so, whoa, that's sun. Mm. So I went ahead and fixed this eye and I also put a little bit of eyeliner on there to kind of blend it all in so you cannot tell. Well, you can tell, but so you can't tell that I'm wearing lashes. So I'm going to go ahead and do that with the other eye. I have this um, NYX Professionals Epic Ink Liner that I'm going to go ahead and use on this side here to do the same thing. And yes, I tug. I'm sorry. Okay. We are done. Ooh, we are done. <laughs> a million years later, here we are. Fix my camera here. And this is my Easter slash Coachella eye look. I probably should top this off with a lip. I'm going to take this liner here from CoverGirl Lip Perfection in color 230 Radiant. And I'm going to do a little bit of lip lining. So there is my lip liner, and now I'm going to go ahead and go in with this CoverGirl um, in color 340 Delicious, and it is just a, a nice pink color. To be honest, this looks a lot more pink in person on camera. It looks great though, so there we go. <laughs> so this is my completed Easter slash Coachella makeup look for you. If you want to see more makeup looks from me, of course, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So this is the completed look. I hope that you guys like it. I think it turned out super awesome um and yeah that's it i freaking love makeup i hope you enjoy watching this hit the like button hit the subscribe button comment below and i will see you all next time bye